Hi, welcome. This video is going to be about uh, how to create a conky. We're gonna get something from the net and make it our own. We're working on the Linux version of May or what's going to be May, it's still not uh, the last uh, days of April. So in a few days we'll release the May version. And of course, we're already working on it. Now this conky, um, we have this conky Zen in our system here, conky Zen. It's the way how to start all these conkeys. But first off, we need to find out, um, well, get some inspiration or work with code from others, etc., etc. So let me first start maybe Google Chrome. Normally that's an empty browser to teach you stuff. And we have three browsers, one for Firefox, Arc Linux account, and one for Eric Dubois account. That's then Vivaldi. And this one is just to teach. Um, Conky, let's see at the other screen. I think it's called Fedora. Let's see what it's called. Conky Fedora 3. Let's see how I get it. It's on GNOME. Look, no, I don't think it was there, but it's the same thing. I think I found it here. I said, okay, why not this one? So this is a possible code you can put on your screen. It says, is it essential? No, it's not essential. It doesn't, you don't need to have a conky on your screen. Most of the time I don't have one, but um, it's sometimes interesting to, to have a look and, and see. Um, and here it is, it has a reference. It's tree style fit in Fedora. We do have something similar and it's called skeleton but it's the other way around. These lines are to the left and here the lines are to the right. And this is maybe also something interesting to have. We have a conky Debian slate we can follow. And let's see a year ago, there is a second version and a first version. So we can have a look at this code as well. This could be something we'd like to have or not have. Um, so I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. I haven't, haven't chosen anything really, but let's let's show you how to set it up. That's more important, how to make a conquer you find on the internet suitable for uh, any Linux system, actually. Okay, this is of course Arch Linux. So we have to follow the things we have. In that case, we have the control H button which is going to show you the hidden folders. And in here is the conkey. So we have a conkey in here. And like I said, the one that is similar, it's not the same, similar is called AOR Skeleton Conkey RC. So why not start with that one? Make a copy, rename it of course. Let's keep the name from Conkey Debian Slate, why not? So without, without the Debian, so conkey slate let's aor slate rename that's the name just the name doesn't matter but this is the code but basically this is the code i have so let's have a look what is in here what happens what would happen this is just a startup so start up that kind of uh, conky but this is the code let's compare the codes this is a new syntax. How do we know that? Because of this thing here, because of this line in 38, which says, okay, conky config, and it ends all the way down here with this line and then conky text. So that's a new uh, Lua uh, text. So what is this? It also the new conky Lua text, you see? So basically if I go to raw, and I say control A, control C, and I do a copy paste into this thing without maybe deleting all that stuff up there, but keeping those. Save. We have all the code we need from the conkey. And this is just text. And maybe uh, we should do this right now. And that is to give credits to the creator. 
source editor license let's do this thing like this save that can go and that's general information so we want to try it out we have AOR slate now we go to Conky Zen and we say show me AOR slate now you need to rename any Conky to Conky RC otherwise it will not show up so AOR slate is here let's see what happens we need to have some fonts I'm gonna move my uh, to the top maybe so we have here elements that are working running some of them won't be running will not be running because it says debian we're not debian at all and um, information about my one is here i see so that's working and information is available some of it is not the gpu don't have a gpu well maybe it's pointed to nvidia or something like that but i do have a cores so just fills in four so we need still need to analyze and the rest is, is a matter of fonts so we're gonna read it font is monospace but probably let's have a look at the image where were we let's go back to see have a look some lines let's see what he provides download maybe there's a font in there maybe not extract here that's it okay no font all right so we're on our own we need to figure out why these lines are like that So, monospace, that's something about fonts. Cleaning up. Mm -hmm. So these lines are not working. maybe these special things why is xfd font in there come on so we need to sometimes oh really it's like so so now we can look and, and look at the right side the left side it says debian main so no not debian main Arco Linux or anything else if you have your own nickname or something like that you can uh, write it in here I wonder what this is doing here so I'm gonna delete it see if anything changes <coughs> nothing changes so it's out And now these things. Um, so these lines will not or are not displayed. We need to figure out why. Taking my time here and pausing. All right, I uh, figured it out. I went to look for a monospace font, so with our font manager, I searched for mono. I found in Deja Vu Sans Mono in Book or Oblique World, you can see if there are these special lines that we require. So the lines that are in here. So I needed to tell him to actually not use just monospace, but Deja Vu Sans Mono. So we're back in business. We have now a way to uh, navigate through it gonna take another wallpaper old and to see we have something darker but not this one not that one not that one that's dark enough 
everything seems to be aligned so that's no issue that's great because a lot of work goes into making this this alignment so that's super now we need to go over every little line if it's still a arch linux command so distro so distro doesn't work so this line line 93 doesn't work execute uh, cat etc net is something we don't have and it wants to show Arco Linux showing Arco Linux is done with LSB release so let's execute this thing I don't need the coloring so actually we start from here that's the command execute LSB release and it ends all the way here but this is the end of print this is the end of the execution so control c and our command is not execute cat issue net but it's gonna be this one save so now it says distro arco linux cp type that's okay updates probably going to be wrong because we have aptitude and aptitude is something for Debian I'm not sure if here we have something about updates control find update but we do have conkeys where we have information about updates we have in Qtile in a way a command there in our menu where can I find the command to update to have a number of updates well open terminal here pt updates okay check updates that's some that's one of them so this command pt's platinum searcher so it looks inside the files for something so this is the command that I need. Control Shift C and anything else? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's all check updates. Okay, good to go. So aptitude is out. Where are you? Aptitude is out. And it stops here. And I replace it with my command, which is now gone. It's not copy pasted. Control Shift C. I leave this open. This should be Control V. That's it. Save. Do we have a check updates? Check updates zero. So we'll see later if this thing turns red, the PAMEC indicator down there, then this should change as well. System CPU used, CPU 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Why do we stop with 5? Can't we use 8? But yeah, but we don't have the space for it. Actually, we don't have the space almost for... This is our 6 CPUs. Starting with 0. Let's keep it like this. We won't have the space to put it on the screen. And other people will have to delete these lines. Uh, we'll have to say, I'm gonna get rid of one, two, three, four, maybe. So we keep four CPUs. Frequency, frequency is working. Load is this simple screen recorder. Processes, total running. Okay, zero, one, it changes. This is not reporting. CPU four and five is not reporting the temperature okay so he's trying to he's asking this command and four and five is not working which is actually good so we should maybe just delete it so we have some room for other smaller screens it's good enough to have several elements just one i need not four so let's see where do we cut it off this is cpu 5 so we don't want this and that 
and let's see what if we cut this one what happens here so we have cut it here okay that's good and gpu starts here ah yeah nvidia settings like i thought so i don't have any nvidia settings so maybe we just put a hashtag in front of it for those guys that really want to have it was it the hashtag let's see or was the dash dash okay working no gpu present anymore and the next up is ram do we have do we need this line let's have a look that's good too or not no that's not good i see what it does no again eric what's the difference between this line and that line i don't see the difference two lines it's supposedly to the leader line i like it like this so i'm gonna keep it mem percentage 13 percent used mem versus mem max <coughs> there's a typo disk usage fixed read write nothing to read okay he's writing that's something so that's that's gonna work that's just a command from conky itself if that's not working then conky is not working home and root yeah don't have a home but let's not uh, delete it for everyone let's just say that i don't want to see it in my system just talk about root where is this this is root and this is my space okay good network connections tcp port monitoring count all the ports that are open in and out up speed pound zero pound zero okay i guess that's his his name of his port mm -hmm. I'm guessing so control T I if config this is mine Control shift c out of here bond zero control find everything that is like that should be now like this replace all save now we should have some numbers here the numbers start going up up and up and up and the spikes are there then we have this command I've never seen before. I can zip.com is a website that provides you with the IP. As simple as that. And then he we gets the number, and you see your own uh, icon or the other one IP and your LAN. So basically, we are all good and all set. But this LAN thing is a little bit out of the. yeah how do we fix this this lun is a little bit one two three something like that i want them to be more aligned that's it basically yeah we can't do anything about the thing itself no that's okay so there you go we have created ourselves a conkey for Arco Linux um, we could change we could change the Arco Linux thing into a command as well so this one execute 16 release we can reuse it again the same command that we used late uh, earlier on Control c 
and change this Arc Linux thing, this thing, with this thing. Save. So we get the same thing, of course, but it's uh, now going to change. If you call it Arc Linux D or Arc Linux B, it's going to be changing with that with this command. All right. Um, I guess I, I have uh, I'm finished. It all depends on the background whether it's nice or not. This Linux thing is a little bit off, I think. Why and where it says Linux? Control find Linux. Okay, so that's command. This name offset 12. Offset 12, yeah. It's, it's a little bit dangerous to change it again. Let's see what 5 does. Exaggerate. Exaggerate. Okay, that's pretty bad. Okay, that's better. Now the line into system is a little bit off. So find system. Let's do a one as well. Let's see what we get. Yeah, the line is not inside the word system now anymore. CPU use frequency process temperature MCPU usage network. Those look all okay. So basically, this is gonna be your new conky guys. So that's not important. The conky is not important. The exercise is so if you find stuff online or you ask people, could you share your conky with me? Then this is how you get it working on your system. All right. Enjoy.